Listen to your patient. He is telling you the diagnosis. The good physician treats the disease. The great physician treats the patient who has the disease. The person who takes medicine must recover twice, once from the disease and once from the medicine. It is much more important to know what sort of a patient has a disease than what sort of a disease a patient has. Be calm and strong and patient. Meet failure and disappointment with courage. Rise superior to the trials of life and never give in to hopelessness or despair. In danger, in adversity, Cling to your principles and ideals. Aquanimitas. Gentlemen, I have a confession to make. Half of what we have taught you is an error, and furthermore we cannot tell you which half it is. Live neither in the past nor in the future, but let each day absorb all your interest, energy, and enthusiasm. The best preparation for tomorrow is to live today superbly well. Medicine is learned by the bedside and not in the classroom. Let not your conceptions of disease come from words heard in the lecture room or read from the book. See and then reason and compare and control, but see first. Care more for the individual patient than for the special features of the disease. Put yourself in his place. The kindly word, the cheerful greeting, the sympathetic look, these the patient understands. He who studies medicine without books sails an uncharted sea, but he who studies medicine without patience does not go to sea at all. Medicine is a science of uncertainty and an art of probability. One of the first duties of the physician is to educate the masses not to take medicine. The practice of medicine is an art, not a trade, a calling, not a business, a calling in which your heart will be exercised equally with your head. The hardest conviction to get into the mind of a beginner is that the education upon which he is engaged is not a college course, not a medical course, but a life course, for which the work of a few years under teachers is but a preparation. Observe, record, tabulate, communicate. Use your five senses. Learn to see, learn to hear, Learn to feel, learn to smell, and know that by practice alone you can become expert.